Hey folks, Vic here with your weekly trade video for Friday, January the 26th of 2024. I had to put this picture up because we've had rainy, wet, cold, crappy weather here in Vancouver. Darko's had cold weather there as well. And this is when I visited him in Sweden a few years ago and it was nice and sunny and beautiful and it just makes me feel better. <laughs> anyway, as most of you guys know, um, uh, Darko, uh, he's our lead coach for our Coaches Corner service and he looks after our longer term trading service, which are mostly swing trades. There's the occasional position trade. Uh, and by the way, he's off to another great start this year. These longer term trades obviously require bigger initial pit risk, okay, bigger initial stops, but they also have much, much bigger reward potential. However, here's the deal. What if the initial pip risk exceeds your risk tolerance based on your account size? Okay, because the last thing that you want to do is over leverage your account. That'll be a disaster. Not only is it no problem to still take these longer term trades, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to get into them with very, very small initial pip risk, making the reward risk potential incredibly large. They work really well. So no excuses. If you've got a smaller account, you can take these trades. Okay. I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit the like button. We sure appreciate that. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. There's a subscribe button in the lower right corner of the video. Alrighty, let me show you how to swing trade the Forex with very small initial pit risk. Okay, well, I'm going to show you uh, a couple of trades that Darko had, has recently pointed out in advance, of course, to our members. I'm going to show you the initial pip risk based on Darko's pre-market analysis video for our longer term members. Then I'm going to show you how you could have taken the trade, the same trade, with way, way smaller initial pip risk, okay? If our smaller time frame gives us that opportunity. And I'll, I'll come back to that, that point in, in just a few minutes. So this New Zealand um, Canadian dollar pair was one on the radar that he had. As you can see on the weekly chart, we had started to break above and started to break these highs and make you know higher lows going up there. This level right here, you see the wicks hitting it here. Just move zoom that in a bit there and there and there and there and there. Just rejection there. It finally breaks above and comes back. When it comes back, he's saying, hey, that's a buy right there. So if we go down to our daily chart, I want to show you this level I just showed you on the weekly chart. It, this is the very same level. I'm not changing the lines or anything. That's a daily level. That's a great level. Look at that rejection and finally it breaks above it. And that's where you want to buy when it comes back down to it right there. Okay. So this needed by buying it right here, the way that Darko pointed out, he had a stop under here. You needed about a 115 pip risk. Okay. Using a smaller, now back it up here. Whenever you're at a daily level, we're allowed to you go down or we're, we shouldn't say we're allowed to. Our rule is that we can go down to a uh, two time frames below, which would be our one hour chart and look for a pattern. Okay. Well, if we go down uh, two time frames below, we call that our hourly chart. So we put a one hour chart. This is a four hour. Here's that level, same level. If I put a one hour chart on, uh, this is where the trade happened. Here's where it first happened. This setup right here is golden. It's one of the best, uh, probably is the best pattern that we have, the swing rate rotation. Now, buying it because we always buy when it comes down we don't buy breakouts so it comes down we're buying a pullback and we have uh, uh, specific rules on how to buy it doesn't mean you can't listen i mean everybody's independent here we're teaching you how to read price action you can buy it uh at this initial uh, place where we suggest to buy it you can try to go for a deeper retracement it may not go down that far you might miss the trade but you know it's up to you each how they want to do this but we have a very you know uh uh, mechanical way to do it right here. So goes up, comes down, the buy is uh, right in here somewhere. Now, instead of needing 115 pip risk, it only needs a risk of about 20 to 30 pips, depending on how deep you buy this. So just call it 30 pips, 30 pips. Okay. That's, that's $3 using a micro lot. So if you have a small account size, geez, no problem, right? And this trade has now been up, you know, well over a two to one reward risk. So obviously, once you're in the trade, it's all about trade management. Uh, but this trade can never be a loser now. We would never allow a loss when that happens. Okay, we, we're up way more than our initial risk. And, th and there's no reason to be out of this trade, by the way, because it's a longer term trade. You got to keep that in mind. You're only using the smaller time frame to get in with small pit risk. But you, this, if this keeps going up, you know, like uh, you start looking at your weekly levels for targets up into here. Now you're talking several hundred pips. You know, on a, on a 30 pip risk, like it's, it's really, really cool. So we'll see what happens. It may, it may or may not get there, but now you get a free look at it. I'll show you another one here. Let me see. How about the CAD Swissy? 
The CAD Swissy was another one. If you look at the trends on this, okay, so my upper left is my monthly chart. It's going straight down. See this? Straight down. Look at the weekly chart in the upper right. Straight down. Lower highs, lower lows. The swings are just, they can't, they can't break any swings in here. And then the daily chart, same story. Okay? So the level that Darko told everybody to watch for is this one right here, this first level. Because price had broken down below here and it was coming back. And go, just watch this level right into here. So if we go to the daily chart, that was this level right here and there was another level that he pointed out as well right here so he said well sell it right you can sell it right here with a higher high stop loss looking to the downside and but he also said see this stuff down in here this is a daily chart if price gets in down into here or when price gets if you get filled and price goes down do something this is consolidation and this has had a very very long run down it may be due for a bounce don't just sit there and stare at it. Get the risk out. Take some profit. Do something. But don't just sit there and watch this happen. Well, it went into it absolutely perfectly. Now, how could you have gotten into this on a with less than 115 pips of risk? Well, no problem. I say 115. That was 110 pips. Pardon me. 110 pips of risk. So you, because we have a daily level, remember we can go down two time frames below to our hourly. So if I go down to the hourly chart, uh, this is right here. Here is where price rallied and hit it. The question is, where's the pattern? There isn't one. It just kept going up to that next level. Remember, I showed that next level up. Now we got us. Now we're talking. Price goes up, hits it, drops, rallies again to a new high above this one. We have another swing break rotation and this drop right here. This is this is really really a good sign. Okay, so now you get to take on a, a, a trade uh, as it rallies up here. And now you're taking it on with uh, a risk of just 26 pips. 26 instead of 110. Okay, so don't tell me, oh, I can't take this because I have a small account set. Yeah, you can. You just use these, right? So, and the trade's been up, if you, all the way down, it's been up about 80 pips from the from this smaller time frame entry. 26 pip risk, 80 pips of profit have been in this trade. All right? That's pretty good. That's awesome, considering it, like I said, it only need 26 pips. Now, listen, I am certainly not saying that you would have made 80 pips. In fact, you very likely would not. But it was a very super easy two to one at that level of consolidation that Darko pointed out. Uh, the, the, remember he said if it goes down, do something at that level. Easy two to one, okay? And um, so that's how you handle these. Remember, this is a long-term trade. So, you know, depending how you handled your risk on it, uh, on here, you could still be in this trade to the short side as a long-term trade. But as a short-term trade, You've got some profit, good profit out of it now, and you've got a really nice free look at it. Okay, so I just wanted you to see how you can very nicely take on higher time frame trades with much, much less initial pip risk. Okay, but as I say, and I'll come back to this what I was saying earlier. Keep in mind the price action may not necessarily set up for an entry on a smaller time frame, so you could end up missing the move. Right. So what I mean by that is like say. On this higher time frame trend say price hit this this really nice level and just went straight down and you went to your one hour chart and it hit it right here and just went straight down and there's just no swing rate rotation no a cat no set and forget not there was no pattern that we use we only have three patterns and there, it wasn't there well you just missed the trade right so that's the downside of waiting for a pattern you could miss the trade but when you do get the setup on the smaller time frame as you've just seen, the reward risk can be like very lucrative and enable you to reduce or remove risk very quickly, which is really ideal for a smaller account size. So that's how you can use a smaller time frame pattern to trade your way into a longer term swing trade, but with a much, much smaller initial pit risk. Okay. As we always recommended to we recommend to aspiring traders. Learn to trade by starting off with longer term setups. It's just way, way easier. That's what Darko teaches. You can then apply the exact same patterns to get into longer term trades at the levels that Darko points out in his pre-market analysis videos, giving you an entry with far less initial pit risk. Okay, I hope that all makes sense. If you have any questions or you'd like to talk to me or just send me an email and we'll just take it from there. Alrighty, thank you so much everyone. Have a great weekend.